Carrington and this is the Magic Box. Welcome to the Magic Box. I'm John Carrington and today we're going to have some fun with Space Wars. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not only going to demonstrate some things that are done in the movie, but I'm going to encourage you to read some books about Space Wars. And not only that, duplicate some of the things that are done by reading about tricks that you can do that rival what's done in the movies. You know, real life is better than the movies. <laughs> You'll find out what I'm talking about. Just keep watching The Magic Box. Welcome boys and girls to another magic box. I'm John Carrington and not only do I do magic tricks, I teach how to do magic tricks. Probably my most important lesson is to encourage you to read to achieve. So that's where I learn my tricks. I go to books. Books are your source of information and knowledge. Books are a good place to find out what your gifts are. And then books can help you to work your gifts so that someday you're not have, you don't have to work, you're having fun using your gifts. So today's episode of The Magic Box is, is based on that uh, movie uh, Space Wars. Dun, 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 Space Wars. You know, the people who run around with the lightsabers and, and they say things like, mm, the force is strong in this one. Mm, ah. <laughs> well, there's some things you can do that kind of duplicate what they've done in the movies. And I'm going to let you in on the secrets because not only did I watch the movies but I read the books that tell you how to do the tricks that are done in the movies. Oh, why do I keep on mentioning books? Because books are the things that will help you to become the best you possible. Use your brain to help you gain. The more you know, the more you grow. The, learn, the more you learn, the more you earn. We're going to start with a very simple <coughs> Jedi trick. Some people talk about a force. Something in the universe that's all around us. It's called nature. <laughs> well, that force can be duplicated using a 3x5 card. These cards are used for public speaking and note taking. They have little lines on them, and you can buy them very, uh, very inexpensively from a stationery store or drug store, any place where they have a nice section of paper and pencils and pens. They're called 3x5 cards. You fold the card in half this way, and then you fold it again this way, 
And if you open it up, you now have four little sections. You can just about see the four folds. Well, if we now tear out one of those little sections, let's see here, there, and there, and now we have the perfect piece of paper to duplicate my favorite trick from the Star, <coughs> excuse me, Space Wars. <laughs> I place this right here. The force is strong. Ah, Luke, you must concentrate. Jedi does not try. Jedi either do or do not. The force. The force. I'll tell you how that's done. <laughs> What I have here is a movement to rub my right side of my face. And I'm right-handed. Now, if I was left-handed, I'd start with the left side of my face. But I'm right-handed. Rub the right side of my face. Rub the left side of my face. And I point. I do that again. And I point. The third time I do it, notice that my hand is in the perfect position to backhand the table if I wanted to, but I'm not going to backhand the table. Watch what I do. Slow motion. The air that's generated by me bringing my hand flatly towards the table is enough to knock that over. Now here's the part that makes it really funny. I can move this little piece of paper a little further away over to here. Oh, the force is strong. Oh. And I can move it a little further away. I know that's beyond the range. Let's see if that's beyond the range. Concentrate, Luke, concentrate. Dun 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 The force is with me. It's all around me. It's called air. So now you too know how to duplicate that special effect from the space wars. Okay kids, we'll be right back with more. Here's another one. Many times when you're in space, you can hear things, strange things. If you have a glass at home that looks like this, you dip your finger in the water. And with that wet finger, you search for those sounds that you would hear.
Dan 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 Yes, there are sounds that can be created if you understand the force. It's called wet finger rubbing on a glass and it becomes dry and as it becomes dry it causes the glass to vibrate. <laughs> so, get a glass, dip your finger in the water, and then take that finger and very gently go around the edge of the top of the glass. Now make sure there's water in the glass. That'll, that'll help to set the pitch, the tone that the glass will make. Put your wet finger on the edge of the glass and then just very lightly Space Wars. <laughs> but we aren't going to stop there. No way. We're not going to stop there. We're now going to learn how to make things happen very trickily. Trick, tricky. Very tricky. I have here a newspaper. And uh, if you notice, this newspaper is uh, one of those free newspapers you can find at a newsstand. That's very convenient because this is one of those tricks where you're going to uh, demonstrate that you can do things with everyday papers. Uh, for example, read them. <laughs> Have fun with them. And learn about your sports heroes. What I'm going to do has been done for audiences all over this area. And each time I've done this, they've been amazed. I will not reveal this secret because I want you to go to a book and find out how to do this for yourself. For this trick, I usually sign a name on the front of the paper to show you that this is the same paper that I started with and I'm putting J-O-H-N John right on the front of the paper and I'm going to do this exactly the way I do it for audiences all over the area why? because in the movie Space Wars things tend to happen that appear to be magical and tricky but if you read the right books you too can do them Sometimes when you read, you find information that can be used right away. Sometimes you find information that you can use later on. But the goal is to tear into what you're reading for real. And read for fun as well as understanding. Reading for fun means that you read it the first time and you get something out of it. <laughs> the second time oh there goes my pen <laughs> when you read it the second time you're reading for understanding <clears throat> and sometimes when you understand things you get just a little bit more out of it. A lot of scientists, doctors, and lawyers have to read things over and over again to really get understanding. If you read it a fourth time, you're reading it because it's really important to you. So you tear into that same book, that same newspaper again <clears throat> to get more out of it. Why do you want to get more out of it? Because knowledge is power. Knowledge strengthens your brain. If you want to exercise your mind, read books. And if you read it one more time, you're not just reading for understanding and the ability to practice something, but you're reading it for the ability to do things. <clears throat> yeah, doctors practice, but they do a lot of good work. Why do they do good work? Because good work is what saves lives. It makes a difference in our world really tearing into a book on health will help you to know how to make other people healthy and keep yourself healthy. Tear into a book that, that's um, important to uh, exercise, it'll make you healthier. Now you have to squeeze as much as you can 
out of what you're reading. That means you're not only reading for fun, but you're getting something out of it that you can transfer to others. Something that you can get out of. What you want to do is get something out of that book that's going to make a difference, that's going to help to make people uh, space wars, that's going to make people see that there's something worthwhile, something that's valuable that can be gained just by simply reading the right material. You can get it together if you read the right material and if you read with a purpose. Read to achieve. Star Wars. <coughs> space Wars. Dun, 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 dun. Are you having fun with the Space Wars show? Aha! Uh -huh. We'll be right back with more. It started small. Then it went global. Gamers from North America coming together with gamers from all around the world, from all walks of life, getting together to play games for 24 hours and raise money to help cure sick kids. With all funds raised, staying local with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and Partner Hospitals internationally. For more info or to sign up, visit www.extra-life.org. Play games, heal kids, extra life. Then there's the Jedi trick that involves making things float. Well, there's one way to make things float. It's called the force or juggling. <laughs> juggling. <laughs> That's all about timing. You can take any three objects and uh, create juggling. You don't need these fancy pieces of equipment. You can take, um, oh, three pieces of paper and do the same thing. How so? Mm, watch very carefully, young Jedi. One three by five card crumpled into a small object called a ball of paper. <laughs> Another 3x5 card crumpled into mm, a small wad of paper. And another piece of paper crumpled into a wad of paper. Mmm, $15. Mmm, three cents. <laughs> What's the difference? You use what you have. Now, how is that done? Well, first of all, it's called timing. Let me show you. Practice with one. Toss, catch, toss, catch, toss, catch. Toss, catch, toss, catch, toss, catch. It works the same way with the expensive one or the inexpensive one. It works the same way. Next step, you want to toss it from hand to hand. Why? Because you want to get the proper amount of strength and timing on your tosses. I don't want to toss too hard because it will go up too high. And I don't want to toss it too far in that direction because I won't be able to catch it. So I'm practicing with my strength and my aim in my tosses. Toss, catch, toss, catch, toss, catch. Toss, catch, toss, catch, toss, catch. I usually recommend that people do these exercises at least 25 times a piece before they attempt to go to the next step. 25 times. 25 times. Now you involve the pattern that you're going to try to achieve. The pattern is a figure eight. Figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. Now I understand that I'm be working within a, a framework, a box that looks so very much like a square in front of me. So everything I do is gonna be within that box. Figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. Once you've done that 25 times, you know where the tosses are gonna happen. Next step, two of them. This is tricky. Timing is important. Tosseroni macaroni. Tosseroni macaroni. 
tosseroni macaroni. If you notice, I didn't toss them both at the exact same time. There was a delay. This first bean bag got tossed, and when it got to there, I tossed the second one. And the timing just about matches up with the words tosseroni macaroni. Tosseroni macaroni. Tosseroni macaroni. Tosseroni macaroni. Tosseroni macaroni. 25 times. You are now one bean bag away from being able to juggle. And I'll explain that. You've conquered tosseroni macaroni. And now it's time to include the third bean bag. This is the part that's a little bit tricky because you have to practice really good at tosseroni macaroni before you're comfortable with tossing that third bean bag. The third bean bag is in the right hand. I'm right handed, so both bean bags start in my right hand. Tosseroni macaroni would look like this tosseroni macaroni, tosseroni macaroni. If I said tosseroni macaroni and then kept tossing, the bean bag is already in my hand, would suddenly get into the mix. And here's what that looks like <clears throat> tosseroni macaroni, tosseroni macaroni, tosseroni macaroni, tosseroni macaroni, tosseroni macaroni. Ta da! Practice that 25 times, and pretty soon you can juggle anything oranges, lemons, potatoes, biscuits, soda bottle tops, ice cubes. <laughs> And suddenly people think that you are from the Space Wars movie. Dun, 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 dun. I see the Jedi using their lightsabers. Well, I've seen some pretty fancy tricks in some of those movies. But this is a trick that you can do with a ruler, a long pencil, or even a stick or a twig that you find on the ground. The idea is that you're using a skill that only Jedi know and understand or majorettes. <laughs> it's called baton twirling. <laughs> this is how you twirl a baton. And uh, by the way, magicians use this as a part of their routine when they're doing what's called close-up magic. Baton twirling. Looks pretty fancy, doesn't it? Looks pretty fancy. I'm going to tell you how to do this so that you too can do exactly what some magicians can do and some can't. And it looks pretty good when you're doing a trick. If you pick up the wand and just go like that, that's one thing. But when you pick it up and go, ta-da! Wow! He's very skilled. No, he understands the force. And he's watching baton twirlers. <laughs> Here's the trick. Pretend this is a very long pencil and you're drawing a, 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 a circle on a blackboard. Well, if you're drawing a circle on a blackboard with a long pencil or a long piece of chalk, it's going to look like that. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes to be fancy in drawing your circle, not only are you going to do that, but at some point you're going to twist it and bring it all the way down so that it points at you and bring it back again. Here it is. Long circle. Long circle. And I'm just really letting, this, letting the wand spin when it comes back to the start of making another long circle. Here it is again. Long circle. Let it spin. Long circle. Let it spin. Long circle. Let it spin. Looks like I'm cheating, doesn't it? <laughs> Obi-Wan, let me take him. No, young Padawan. He is too strong. He's too strong. The force is too strong. We have to team up to take him. No, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi movie <laughs> using baton twirling. Well, we're going to take a break and we'll be right, right back with more of the Magic Box.
We hope you enjoyed the show, and we know you'll be joining us again next time because you're going to go to the library and pick up on some tricks that you can do at home that rival what I've taught you. In fact, I want you to be better than I am. Like any Jedi who's teaching his younger Jedi, he wants them to become as strong and powerful as he is, and maybe even stronger. I want you to read to achieve, use your brain to help you gain. Remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. Until next time, keep reading. Bye-bye. Okay.